Hey everyone, welcome to a Wednesday episode. Uh, this video is intended for those that are interested in the Dead Nation style project. Uh, the video that I released on Sunday uh, took a little bit longer than expected to talk through some of the uh, particle system. Uh, so just to sort of like add on to that, um, I've made this video. Uh, essentially, we're building on that just a little bit more, but I'm not going to go into too much detail over the particle system. So what you can see here is now we've got a rifle particle if we switch to a shotgun. Uh, it's the same particle that we made in the Sunday video, except I've changed it to blue. And then we've also got an SMG particle. Um, what I'll do is I'll I'll sort of fly through this. I'm not going to talk through as many um, sort of particle system steps, but I, I will give you everything that you need to know to make it. Uh, and also, um, there was a little bit of an issue where the particles were bouncing off everything. I can't say that I found a fix exactly, uh, but some kind uh, person on the internet has created a kill particle node uh, with some custom code. Uh, I'm looking into uh, how they've made this and then we can make our own little custom bits and pieces. But at the moment, I still don't understand it, but I will um, link you to that bit of code down below. Uh, and essentially, you just copy and paste it into your system. So you, you, you would just press um, paste. Uh, and then you'll get the, the node just like that. But that being said, I'll cover that more when we get to it. Uh, so let's get into the video. Okay, so let's get started. So what I'm going to do is in my content browser, I've got to my third person BP and blueprints. And this is where we made the previous system. So we're just going to right click in here and we're going to go to FX and we're going to go to emitter. and We're going to create a new emitter. So I'm going to select new emitter from the list. And then once in here, I'm going to scroll down until we get the static beam. I'm going to press finish. I'm going to call this rifle. I'm going to double click that. So then it opens up into this uh, emitter editor, I guess. Uh, and I'm just going to hit pause. Um, but I'm going to drag this timeline back so I can actually see the uh, particle. So at the moment, um, if you can see where my mouse is, this is where the actual particle will start from and it will end It'll, it'll go this way essentially and it'll end here so that particle for me for how i want it to um, be visualized is, is actually backwards so we can fix that by going to the beam width node and the actual shape of the particle is actually represented by this red line so if i was to pull this down a little bit you can see that uh, this particle here if i can move a little bit better it is now essentially represented by by this line so the changes I make to this line are the changes that I'm going to see with the actual particle. So for me to get what I want, I kind of want to flip this around. So just as a real basic one, I'm just going to click on this template here to get uh, this, this angled line. And I'm just going to press these two little arrows in the bottom corner to fit all the points uh, on the screen. So really what I want to do is I want to select this first value and I don't want it to be zero uh, at either end. So with the key data here, this is time and this is value. Uh, so I want this value to be 0 0.1. So I don't want it to be zero. I don't want it to be like invisible. Uh, and also the other end. Uh, so the, here is sort of like time one. I say time, but it's actually like uh, the other end of your, uh, your object, I guess. Um, I actually want that to be 0 0.1 again. But at about 0 0.8 so you here you can see time 0 0.8 and value 0 0.1 i'm just going to right click and i'm going to add a key but where this times 0 0.8 i actually want the value to be 0 0.9 and you can see that shape now is sort of like um i guess like a diamond it's like the opposite of what it was a minute ago with some subtle changes it doesn't actually fade out um to nothing but i guess you could have the back end at, at zero so you can see there that it fades uh, fades to zero but i i don't necessarily like that so 0.1 is what i'm going to have um i'm just going to press compile just because i have a habit of doing that um what else do we need to change so currently at the moment this particle doesn't actually move it only gets spawned so um particle spawn let's add some velocity to it now at the moment this is linear which to be fair is actually right but the velocity is set to the uh, z-axis so this is going to be up and down or only up uh, we don't want that uh, we want the velocity to be in the x so we want it to go forward um, for me um, just matching the shotgun particle velocity uh, i'm just going to set that to 2000 and <laughs> if i press play now uh, you can see that that just zipped 
across the uh, screen. So there you go. So in effect, we've kind of already made that particle um, already, but um, it doesn't look like it on the screen, but that particle is actually really big. So if we go to the beam emitter setup, that beam length or the width of it, how long it is, um, is actually 200 units. So that's actually two meters. So that's as big as the character. So I'm actually going to set that down to 70 um, for the rifle. Now I am going to use the same particle effect uh, for the SMG. I'm just going to make it a lot smaller and a bit, it's just slightly different. So the beam end is going to be 70 and maybe for the SMG, I might change that to like 50. Depends how it looks when we apply it to the character. Uh, so yeah, set that to 70. Um, and if I press play, yeah, to be fair, you can't really see it because it is that quick. Um, but you, you, you can see there that it is a bit, it's a bit smaller. If I set that to 200 now, um, and move through this, like that, that looks, that's doubled in size. So anyway, yeah, I have too much time on that. Uh, 70 is what I'm going to set it to and then the emitter state uh, this is going to loop infinitely we don't want to do that we only want to do it once because this is a rifle um, it, we only want uh, one sort of particle to be visible uh, per click um, and the loop duration doesn't really make that much difference for this for this case hit apply and then let's just go over to the third person character let's just let's get this set up so then we can see what it looks like in the game so here we are with the shotgun system that we created in the last video. Um, if you've not seen that, um, I, I recommend you go through that. I go through the system a little bit in more detail. Um, and anyway, I'm going to select all this, this uh, blueprint. I'm going to press copy and I'm going to move to the rifle. I'm going to press paste. And I'm just going to plug this in. Now I have made space for this ahead of the project, just so I don't spend too much time doing unnecessary sort of formatting and then we need the rifle system so um, in the rifle obviously we've made that now I'm just going to go back to my content browser right click on rifle and create a Niagara system this is going to create the rifle system I'm going to go back to my character now and under the system template for the rifle make sure you select rifle and then all the other settings should be absolutely fine for you so if I compile now and play um, the rifle should be the default um, the, the default weapon. So now when I'm clicking, I'm getting these I'm getting these uh, these particles. So looking at that, it does look a little bit thin. I mean to me actually that, that I think that's fine. I think if there was mul multiple people um, but, uh, if there was multiple people, it, it wouldn't be too much on the screen. Um, I'll leave that bit up to you. You can customize it, make it a bit longer. But for, for me, that's absolutely fine. The only thing I don't like is as I'm clicking there, I can see that the the particle is actually going in different places, which is a little bit weird. Now, what I think it might be actually is if you look at the character, um, you can actually see the character's idle animations moving around. Now, one of the things that we did do is we're actually getting the weapon and getting the weapons rotation. Um, now, probably because of that idle animation, that the end of the gun, the muzzle, is actually probably moving around. Um, we could probably do with switching that rotation out. That probably make it a little bit better. So I'm actually going to delete that world rotation, and I'm probably going to do the same for the shotgun. So I'm going to zoom out, and what I actually remember is, to be fair, look, I've made a comment there, which is brilliant. Um, I actually get the rotation for my spotlight, uh, which I actually disabled, um, to be honest, it, while I was testing something and I forgot to re-enable that, but the spotlight has a rotation and also the beam, um, the, the, the sort of weapons aim beam. So what I'm actually might do is I might get this, uh, find look at rotation and promote that and we'll call this beam slash uh, light rotation um, and we can just set that because this sets pretty much every tick make that a bit neater hit compile and I'm actually going to use that rotation for the weapon 
because I know that rotation is pretty much straightforward, constant every time. So let's just test this with the rifle. So we're going to grab that rotation and plug that in. Hit compile and hit play. And now, oh, that's perfect. Now the, um, that particle is actually flying all the way through the world as well, because I guess previously the, the weapon slightly pointed down. So it's hitting, it was hitting the floor, but that particle actually looks brilliant. So if I switch the shotgun, which we've not changed and fire them particles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like, so that must be why it's got that weird effect. So what's actually happening is that particles hitting the floor and then sliding into the wall, into the corner. Okay. That makes more sense now. So let's get rid of this rotation and drag in this rotation again. Uh, whoop. I'm going to move that down, hit compile, hit play, uh, the rifle's fine, shotgun, oh there we go, that looks miles better already, now, to be honest, that rifle um, isn't that bad for me, the, I might actually change that to be a bit wider, and I might actually change the beam emitter length to be 80, just so it looks a bit bigger, Yeah, I think that's, I think that, I like that, to be honest. So, in reality, what we could probably do for the SMG, now this is completely up to you, you, you could um, essentially copy the rifle and be absolutely fine. Um, I'm just going to copy the rifle system, the, the spawn that we've just done, into the SMG's loop and just see what this looks like. Uh, but I am probably going to make my SMG system a slightly smaller particle. So I'm going to hit compile and play. I'm going to press F three times. And you know what? I like that. I like that. I am going to make that particle a bit shorter though. So this is really simple now. So I'm just going to get the rifle. and I'm going to duplicate it and call it SMG. I'm going to right click and create an SMG system. I'm going to go into the SMG. I'm going to go to the beam emitter setup. I'm going to change that back down to nah, maybe not 70. Let's go 60. Let's just see what that looks like. Something nice and small or compact. Oh, we didn't change it. My bad. So back to your third person and change from rifle system to SMG system. Compile player. So I've got a rifle, a shotgun, and now an SMG. I like that. That's really cool. But what I want it to do is when the particles hit the wall, instead of going all the way through the wall to the end of the level, uh, when they collide with something, I want them to, to disappear. Um, so what I've actually found out. So now with the shotgun uh, system, what I actually did was I enabled collision and then I enabled um, advanced aging. Now that didn't work as expected because the, even though I, I turned uh, the particle bounce off and I added loads some friction and I added advanced aging the particles still don't sort of die any quicker um, so but what I found now each of these sort of little nodes are made up of a uh, what's it called now uh, a Niagara module script so each one of these are sort of like programmed now if I drag this over here, what somebody has done in the Niagara uh, sort of snippets. Uh, now, this is really good. This is in the community pages of the of Unreal Engine. Somebody has made um, has made a little script in Niagara, which basically checks once it's collided um, and then essentially destroy yourself. Um, not 100% how that works. Um, not 100% clear on that, but... Uh, it it does work so essentially um i'll post this link down below um you essentially you just want to click copy full snippet and then you want to come back into your particle up there uh, right click paste and you'll get this node this kill particles node and if you double click on it you'll see what makes it work um so it takes an import it, it does some stuff now i'm looking into how these scripts work so I, I really want to understand them and make them work for myself but uh, essentially then 
it should kill itself uh, once it collides. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add this to each of the um, emitters. So here I've added it to SMG and it's it's giving me a bit of a red warning. Uh, that's probably because we don't have collision. Uh, so let's add a collision. A collision. Because essentially it relies on collision. Uh, let's apply. Okay, there's still some complaints. Why? So I've just I've just clicked them red buttons and it's fixed. Not too sure what the issue was there. Again, I'm gonna add. I'll tell you what, I'm gonna add collision first this time. See if I I, I can avoid the uh, the error. I'm gonna hit paste. That adds it at the bottom. Hit apply. Compile. Oh yeah, everything's sweet. Um, so now in theory, did we change that? Yeah, we did. So now in theory, when I fire, there we go. So now it's hitting something. It's actually uh, destroying the particle. So it's not it's not really a bug fix because I didn't really do anything, but I guess it is a bug fix. Um, so that that little code snippet, the link is going to be in the description. Um, you just add that to your emitter, and you've got um, a kill particle. So that little last bit there took a little bit longer because uh, I, for some reason I had to open this in Edge because it wouldn't work. Um, so if if you just get if you just get a blank community page like this when you when you click that link just try opening it in another browser because um, if I if I try and open the same thing in Chrome so you can see here it's trying to open the page but the page is blank it's really weird um, open it up in the edge and that's kind of like put me on a back foot a little bit so uh, apologies if I little if I was hanging around explaining that then but um, yeah it's it's because I was I was kind of thrown back by that. Anyway, that being said, let's move on to the next bit. So now we've got particle systems um, for the rifle, the shotgun, and the SMG. Oh, if we hold, um, I have disabled my spotlight for whatever reason. Uh, visible. Let's set that. Compile and play. So now we've got now we've got that spotlight. Bang 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 bang. And um, yep. Now we can get over here, blast some enemies. Okay, so I've decided to leave it there. Um, I just really wanted to wrap up the particles, um, or at least the particle bullets for now. Uh, in the next video for this series, I am going to cover the reloading and getting a few other uh, systems built in there. Um, and I really, really want to finish up the um, heads-up display. I've got some of it built, um, but it's just not ready for for uh, the sort of the, the video yet. Um, but when that's out, uh, that that'll definitely be worth it. I want to get a shop built into the into the game, so as you proceed, that you're earning credits. You can buy weapons, and we can uh, anyway. We're getting into things though. Um, if this was helpful, please consider giving me a like. Um, if you want to continue watching things like this, consider subscribing. Um, and again, leave your feedback down below in the comment section. Um, I will get back to everybody if you're having trouble with something. Um, put a comment down below and I'll try and help you. Alternatively, if you want sort of like ongoing support, you can join the Discord server um, where there's a, there's a community of a couple of us now. Um, and and I, I guess everyone will... If they've got the answer, we'll try and help you. But that being said, I'll see you on Sunday for the, the sort of regular release. Uh, and thanks for watching.